Why did Evan Rood outboards fail? That's what we're talking about in this video, but first let me introduce myself. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. Here on this channel, I talk about fishing news, I do fishing vlogs, how to's, and I'll even teach you how to catch more fish. So make sure you subscribe and let's just jump right into the video. So first, let's ask ourselves a question. Why do products fail? That's a pretty easy question to answer and it's simple. They don't make enough money. Well, James, uh, what causes products not to make enough money? I'm glad you asked. If your product isn't making enough money, it could be for several reasons. The first that comes to mind is that you're not making enough sales to cover the cost it takes to make your product. But James, Evan is practically a household name. How could they not have enough sales? Ho, 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 hold on. We'll get there, I promise. The other reason that comes to mind is that there's not enough profit margin built into your product. Now, with Evinrude, I don't believe this is the case because they're owned by BRP, and BRP has several brands that are highly successful, like Sea-Doo and Can-Am. There's two reasons Evinrude failed in the sales department. The first is marketing. Evinrude depended on Repower and you, the buyer, choosing to put this engine on your boat. There's no bass boats out there that offer Evinrude as an exclusive engine line. Nitro, Bass Tracker, Low, those all have Mercury's, all exclusive. Well, Skeeter, well they have Yamaha. Well, Yamaha owns Skeeter. Well, BRP owns Evinrude. Why did you not make a Lumacraft exclusive for Evinrude? Doesn't make any sense to me. So the second reason for not enough sales, boy, I can't wait for the comments on this one, is Evinrude is an inferior product. Yes, yes, I said it. Evinrude is inferior. Yes, Evinrude does have an advantage in power to weight ratio. It also, in some boats, has a higher top speed because of that. But I have heard some horror stories about the reliability of this engine. Well, James, I've heard lots of horror stories from Mercury and Yamaha too. Well, they sell a lot more outboards than Evinrude does. So you shouldn't hear that many horror stories about Evinrude outboard reliability. For example, I have one guy who's commented on my channel. He's on his third Evinrude outboard engine. They keep messing up on him. I'm gonna be taking a bigger, little bit slower of an engine just to know that I'm gonna be making it home that day. That's it. The reason Evinrude failed is they didn't have enough sales. Why did they not have enough sales? They depended on people to choose their outboard, to make those sales, and without a reliable engine option, no one's going to pick you. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button and let me know about it in the comments below. And if you didn't like this video, well, let me know why you didn't like it and why you don't agree with me. But like always, until next time. Get out there and go catch you a fish.